what qualities do you think or do you hope that students will develop from learning music? I'm gonna just go through a litany of things that the music can now teach you from a technical standpoint. First, first thing it teach you, teaches you is, is that you have a creativity that is yours. Duke Ellington said, be a number one yourself, not a number two somebody else. So through improvisation, you get to develop the skill of this is what I think and this is what it gives you a confidence in yourself. And because it's jazz, there's no one way to play it. There are millions of ways to play it. You could listen to a thousand musicians play the bass, Carlos starts naming them, trumpet players. There's no one right way to play. They all play different ways and all beautiful in their own way, those that play like that. The second thing it teaches you is that other people have the ability to improvise and you have to make space for them. So while it's teaching you to celebrate yourself, it's also teaching you, hey, let's celebrate Walter. Listen to all the horn he's playing. That's why I always look at jazz musicians, how they listen to each other play. Just, I just noticed my daddy and them, somebody else play. Oh, yeah, man, that's so-and-so. It's always very collegial and loving. So just to learn how to love another person's creativity, it, it teaches you something very fundamental that you need in the world. People can be competitive, and because they are competitive, they're not an enemy. The world is a place of collaboration, but you cannot collaborate according to you. The collaboration is according to y'all. There's a common area. The music teaches you that. The next thing that the music teaches you in jazz is that sometimes stuff doesn't work out. You play a concert, you sound sad, it's not swinging. Something happens in your life, you know, hey, this, this is what the, what the world is. It's not, it's not a picture, your picture that you wrote and put yourself in the heroic role. You're here. And our music teaches you to face the reality of that. And don't be naive about it, but don't, don't kill yourself because something is wrong because it's also optimism. Now, in terms of practicing, it teaches you a history. Carlos told you, learn the history of these bass players. We were talking about the bass. It teaches you history. The second thing, it teaches you the lowest and highest aspirations of your people. There's a lot of ignorance in our music and there's a lot of glorious moments in our music. It teaches you the self-discipline of practicing every day. And it's also a lot of fun. It teaches you how to work in the context of a group and work towards a goal and objective and to reach it sometimes and to not reach it sometimes. I always love the fact of losing anything because the fact that you can lose something makes you understand the value of it. And there's no shame in losing a thing. And it's important for us to lose graciously, to be soulful, and to account, because we're going to lose things in life. And it's, it, another thing the music teaches you is the comeback. I don't care how sad you sounded on Tuesday. When you pick your horn up or your instrument up on Wednesday, you better think, I'm going to sound better than I sounded. You got to have a jump shooter's mentality. I missed the last 50, but 51 is going in. You know, music teaches you all of these things. And then it teaches you the joy of collective expression. We all come together, we play this. And it teaches you the joy of individual expression. Then it teaches you to reach out to a community of people who are looking for you to heal them in some way. And it gives you that opportunity to be like a preacher or a doctor. Hey, I know y'all had a, 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 rough, a rough day today, or a rough month, or a rough 10 years, but just check this out. Do -de -do 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 -do. It's like, you're able to give something. So all of these things are in music, and there are many, many more. I'm not gonna talk about the math of it, or the, the invisible parts of it, like the feeling, the emotions, the thoughts, and all the things. All of these things. Music is such a fantastic art, and we're all so blessed and honored to be a part of it, and there have been so many great musicians. And the thing that jazz really allowed was for the memory of all these great musicians to be with us through their recordings. Because if you think about it, now you could get to learn how to play a tenor saxophone. You can learn how to play a trumpet. You can learn how to play a piano, and people could hear you. Before, man, you had to orchestrate and write all of that music. There's a lot fewer people who are going to do that. I think the last thing is be intense. <laughs> be intense. I used to have a coach that used to say we'd be playing ball, and he would say, I need more emotion. I need more emotion. The whole game, he's screaming for emotion and passion. And if we get to the last two minutes, he would say, Replace all that emotion with execution. So, if you're intense, if you really be intense, intense is not volume. One, one last thing I'd like to say, if you get used to playing really loudly, you'll never be intense.
It's like using curse words to make a point. You'll never learn how to use language. It's cursing is just easy. If you learn how to... And I want you also to think about sometimes some of the most intense encounters you have if people will be quiet, especially your parents. Maybe they say, sit down. That means 